right, guys, thank you for making it out. We've had a very long day, but we have the pleasure of having Trip here today. Um, Good to be here. Work-life balance, I see he mentioned, Nicholas mentioned work-life balance. It's funny because all our staff actually lives here. Uh, so this is our work-life balance. Always. In the building. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Cool. Um, but thank nice you for setup. being out here. Um, like I mentioned in our call the other day, we have about 70 to 80 entrepreneurs from all over the world, and they're starting their first ventures. Many of them are starting their first ventures. Um, so I kind of wanted to go through your journey in starting a company. I know that you graduated from Harvard, and That's you've right. had only one job. This is my first and only job, yeah. First and only I had job. Some internships. I don't know if those count. Uh, well, we'll say this is the first official job. Yes, yes. <laughs> so how, how'd you actually, when you came out of college, what sparked that entrepreneurial bug? Um, well, I think, I think back then, um, I just didn't really, uh, I didn't really know what else to do, right? I had considered being a doctor. I considered going into investment banking. I just didn't feel too excited about anything. And, and the only thing that did seem exciting was starting a company. Um, and at, at the time, um, it, it, it just, uh, it seemed like if I was ever going to do it, it was a good time to do it right after college. There's, there's not a lot, you don't have a lot to lose in life, like right after you finish college. So I just decided to, to go for it. And then, uh. You've been doing it ever since. Well, that sounds very easy. By the way, this company has over 100 million users um, on their per platform. Month, yeah. um, and, uh, and almost a million subscribers. million subscribers. I, I guess paying, the official uh, 750,000 paying is the last official number we released. Wow. But we're growing that quickly. So. <laughs> Good. So was anyone in your family um, entrepreneurial? They started a business? Or is this like a first generation thing? I know you grew up in the Bay, yeah, so that probably yeah. influenced a lot of it. There's actually, there's been a lot of entrepreneurs in my family, I think going back a few generations, uh, but I think the one I was closest to is my, my dad is a, he was a doctor at Stanford, he started a med tech company here in Silicon Valley. Um, so I had quite a bit of exposure to entrepreneurship through him. Uh, meanwhile, like I, I grew up here in Palo Alto, really close by, a lot of my friend's parents started tech companies, um, you know, I was in... Uh, I was in Mark Zuckerberg's class at Harvard, so I got to see that whole story get, get started. So I, I had a lot of kind of exposure to entrepreneurship, which uh -huh. I think gave me more comfort. Um, you know, nowadays, I think there's a lot, a lot more entrepreneurs out there in Silicon Valley. It's, it's much more common. Um, back then, it wasn't quite as common, but I was lucky to have a lot of those, those touch points. Do you attribute a lot of that to Silicon Valley itself um, or more of a family, you know, the way your family brought you know, brought you up, or is it, you know, Silicon Valley was a, a huge part of starting this company? Um, I mean, I think, yeah, Silicon Valley is a big part. I mean, having grown up here, it, it, it didn't seem that crazy to just, like, you know, start a company and, and take it public and all that kind of stuff, because yeah, I grew up here in the 90s, so I got to see the whole, like, dot-com boom play out. Um, but I think it was also, like, um, uh, I mean, when I was at, at Harvard, uh, I saw, saw Zuckerberg doing this. Um, you know, we, we applied to Y Combinator. We were in the second Y Combinator class. It was actually based in Boston back then. So Y Combinator was just down the road from our dorm. So, um, so that was also kind of natural, like, to just kind of go right from, from Harvard to Y Combinator. Um, so I think, yeah, I mean, it was Silicon Valley, Y Combinator, a lot of, um, a lot of things that gave me, gave me confidence to do this. What are some of the Y Combinator companies that, that were in your batch? If you recall any or? Yes, the only, the only other one in our, uh, let's see, the ones in our batch that you might have heard of, there was, um, so Draw Something, do you remember that app? Draw Something? Draw Something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, Read. It, got, <laughs> it got bought by Zynga for quite, quite a bit of money. So that, was, so that company was in our batch doing something totally different. Right. And then years later, it suddenly became Draw Something and they sold for, to Zynga. Um, there's a company called Zobni in our batch. They sold to, uh, to Yahoo. Um, other ones kind of from back in the early days that are well known, there's like Reddit is big, uh, you guys know Reddit, um, Dropbox, Weebly, uh, Twitch. So, so uh, Twitch started as Justin.tv. Uh, they were getting started around the time we started. So like when we were starting our company, uh, Justin Kahn was running around with a camera on his head. It was an interesting <laughs> period, <laughs> period an of time. He's an advisor in your company? Yeah, she's an advisor, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. So I see Justin a lot these days. Now, you mentioned a lot of these Y Combinator companies getting acquired. But I read somewhere that you're one of the only companies that is actually the, the longest lasting thus far, uh, which probably attributes to actually building a, a, a successful business model and not just a, your typical quick acquisition. 
Um, yeah, I think we're the, the longest lasting, continually operated, y, uh, continually independent YC company, right? Because wow. the only one that's older than us is, uh, is Reddit, but they were acquired by Condé Nast and spun out. So they kind of lose that title. <laughs> um, and then I guess right after us would be probably Dropbox. So, uh, so we're the oldest just by, by about, a, about six months, which is, which is a cool title to have. That is. That's, <laughs> yeah. We uh, won't did lose you that as long as we stay in business, you know? Right. So. And you will <laughs> with over 100 million users. So.